my time and this is a fucking business. Uh, why I'm a grown ass adult man and I decide not to be friends with somebody is nobody else's fucking business. But my friends, if I fall backwards, will catch me. Scott Colton, I felt never would have. My problem was I wanted to bring a guy with me to the top that did not want to see me at the top. Okay. You call it jealousy. You call it envy, whatever the fuck it is. My relationship with Scott Colton ended long before I paid all of his bills. I have every receipt. I have every invoice. I have every email. I have the email where he says, and I quote, I agree to go our separate ways. I will get my own lawyer and you do not have to pay anymore. That's an email that I have. The only reason the public did not see is because when I finally had to counter sue him through discovery, we discovered he shared a bank account with his mother. That's a fact. And as soon as we discovered that fact and we subpoenaed old Marsha, he sent the email, oh, can we please drop all this? Now, it's 2022. I haven't been friends with this guy since at least 2014, late 2013. And the fact that I have to sit up here because we have irresponsible people who call themselves EVPs and couldn't fucking manage a target and they spread lies and bullshit and, and put into a media that I got somebody fired when I have fuck all to do with him want nothing to do with him, do not care where he works, where he doesn't work, where he eats, where he sleeps. And the fact that I have to get up here and do this in 2022 is fucking embarrassing. And if y'all are at fault, fuck you. If you're not, I apologize. But what did I ever do in this world to go to deserve an empty headed fucking dumb fuck like hangman adam page to go out on national television and fucking go into business for himself for what what did i do dave what did i ever do didn't do a goddamn thing